How many of us are happy to be here? Happy to be in this profession? Yeah? Truly believe that we matter to the customer? Yeah? And though our internal customers don't know it, do we matter to them? Yeah? So I'm talking about a thought process change or a behavioral change in all of us at different levels. We are all at different levels. I'm not talking about seniority here. Some of us are writers, some of us are managers, some of us are dog heads. We are liaising with our management at different levels as well. So my topic is who will cry when you die, right? So are we getting redundant? People think we are getting redundant, others, right? So why is that so? The background is that when the customer looks at us, whether the customer is your internal customer or your product customer, they feel that we are uh, uh, an extension of maybe uh, QA or support, right? And basically we are doing those roles. And we are just leveraging those environments, uh, the QA environments, let's say, when we are producing quality documentation. And we have a common goal with QA to give an end result. So what is it that really drives documentation? Okay? a very totally different thought process change. <clears throat> One thing I learned very early as a technical writer, very, very early, from my first manager who happens to sit here, uh, David Michael, no one can tell you how to write and what to write. You are the one who's going to decide and you are the expert. So you cannot say the developer told me to write this or the QA told me to write this and therefore I've written it. You are the owner and you will decide. Most of us agree with it, but maybe we don't verbalize it or we don't believe in it and we don't talk about it. So our team doesn't have the same passion about it. So as writers, we are the experts. It's our job to identify what to write to assess the requirement, to plan it, deliver it, test it, all of it. So here comes my question, what is the attitude of technical writers generally? Let's not talk about you yourselves, generally. Do you notice people saying, tell me what to do and I'll write it? As a manager, I come across that all the time. As a peer also, I've come across these situations where writers say, you tell me what to do, I will do it. So that's the attitude which is changing and which should change. That feeling of ownership and uh, Sanjeev spoke about, uh, Sanjay spoke about Scrum. Scrum also talks about ownership at every level. So we are all moving towards that. What about senior management? Senior management, uh, we spoke in another uh, panel discussion where it's looked at as an overhead and they're thinking that nobody really reads documentation, it's redundant, it's useless. So that's the thought process of senior management. Of SMEs, in different companies, you have different attitudes where they feel, oh my God, now I have to review this document. Oh my God, now I have to, you know, she's going to come across and talk to me. So, so these are the three varying attitudes of writers, SMEs, and senior management. How do we tackle this? As writers, as a community, I think we tend to complain a lot when we don't get inputs, we don't get review comments, to the extent that when people are talking to us from senior levels, they ask us, are you okay? Are you getting inputs? Tell me if you need me to shoot a mail to anybody. You know, it's always as if we need a big daddy to, you know, support us. So we need to address this proactively and we will do it only if we believe our work is critical. So there are two approaches which I believe we can do. One is from the top and one is from the bottom. So those of us who have access to management, we need to propagate to the senior management that your product is complete only with it, when it is packaged with the right user assistance. And from the bottom, it's very, very useful when you have induction sessions to the company, market it to them. Today, you're talking about content marketing. So you have to market everything. You have to sell your product. So market it to them and say, this is important. You are QAs, you are developers. We showcase what you do. <clears throat> so that is very important. And to ask is very important. So a few case studies, I don't have time for that. 
but you need to make sure that you have a few case studies and you project it that way. Uh, you know, what's in it for them? That's important. Make your content indispensable. That's the thought I would like you to carry. Thank you. Thank you, Meghna, very much. It was uh, really wonderful.